and welcome to Like Hey Productions. So today we're in a totally different setting. We're actually in my bedroom. So first of all, don't be shocked by all the pink. Yes, I'm a pink lover. You know, and not because I'm a girl, because I just like pink, you know? So yeah, that's a fun fact about me. But anyway, today's video is about how I study the Bible. So first of all, I'm not saying that this is how you should study the Bible, that my way is right and yours is wrong. No, I'm just showing you guys so that way you can take tips or you can advise me and tell me how you study it. And, you know, I'm just giving you tips and stuff like that. So without further ado, let's get into Okay, so how I study the Bible, sometimes it differs. If it's one of those nights where I was busy the whole day or I just didn't take the time to study the Bible because I mean, sometimes I mean, like discipline, but at the end of the day, no matter how late it is, even if it's a 3 a.m. in the morning, we still have to make time for God and spend time with Him. You know between your tool and read his words so we can pull back into you okay okay so the things that i use for my bible study first of all we have my bible it's the niv version new international version uh this is the one that i use yes it's pink yeah. <laughs> and then i have this little notebook that my aunt gifted me the message in front says the greatest of all these is love 1 corinthians 13 13 and then with this it's optional like it's it's a sometimes thing you know it's not that i use it every single time or every single day just when i'm like oh let me write in my journal so yes and this is by my aunt by the way so if you want to purchase one mm -hmm. and then things to write in my notebook i use my blue nothing special and these are my two go-to colors i would use pink the whole time but i'm always thinking no legit must be colorful and sometimes i use i try and use different color combinations but i always come back to using these ones so yeah and another fun fact about me i'm a stationary addict and this time of the year is one of my favorite times because we go get my stationery guys like you don't know i have an obsession with station like if you know me you know that i'm obsessed with station comment down below if you have the same obsession because <laughs> guys yo no like i love stationery and yo i keep bugging my mom mommy when are we gonna buy stationery when are we gonna buy stationery so i'll try and make sure that when we go i vlog it and i show you a whole little whole way of war <laughs> so let's get into this video so right now i am studying the four gospels but now i started in luke and then late like i started in luke wanting to learn more about the birth of jesus but then i later found out about the four gospels and then i later found out that it's matthew mark luke and john so i started reading from luke and now i am in john so when i'm done with john i'll be going to matthew and then mark and then from there we'll see so uh right now i am at john 17 and really when i start my bible study right now i'll be listening to music like you know just getting everything ready so that i can sit get settled in and then by the way my pillows are not always like that uh they're always on the floor and i just put um one brown one and this one and then i sit there in line with you that's it this is just for show you know just to show that i make effort for y'all you know mm -hmm. so you see yeah so right now i'll be listening to music um to just get me in that spirit you know just get me hype and all you know you know the vibes and then i would sit and look i usually read two chapters but then if they if they're super long i try and read two but then if it's like you know i read one like minimum one but then if i see if they're like short then i read three or four but mostly i read two so today i'm going to read 17 18 
yeah so that's my bible i open it up to the verse and then i put it here i get and then we come to this so with this part um it's upside down by the way with this part um i start by underlining from the previous day and then writing the date uh of the day i am writing this and then write what i am studying so it's john 17 to 18 and then with my journaling i like to start off with the prayer items that i want to pray about before and after so yeah yep so let me just this thing is falling okay so uh, I just write down. Okay, so when I'm done writing like the prayer items that I could think of, I guess sometimes when you're praying, you think, okay, I'm going to pray about this. Then the prayer is just going to take like five minutes, five minutes, but then you end up praying 15 minutes because the Holy Spirit just keeps on adding and adding and adding and adding and adding. And you can't say no to the Holy Spirit. So you just keep on yielding and yielding. I can. So. Um, my first tip. Uh, for you. When reading your Bible. So that you can get a deeper understanding. And you know maybe revelation. Something that God wants to put in your heart. Or a message that God wants to convey to you. My tip for you. Is to start. And end in prayer. Uh, why do you start in prayer so that the holy spirit can come and take over because i mean holy spirit is god and god basically you know wrote the bible so when the holy spirit is within you and he's your helper he can come and show you the things that you need to be seeing for a specific time so that you can be able to relate again and then also uh I write notes in this book like for each chapter I read the like if I get a revelation on, on a specific verse or if there's a verse that I want to remember I highlight it in my bible and then write what uh, was revealed on my heart but if I don't get a revelation but I just want to remember that verse or it's something that you know then I just highlight it but then if I want if I have a revelation then I write down the notes okay so basically now what i'm gonna do because i i i feel a lot i just sit in different positions so um i'm going to i normally sit back on this pillow and lay down on it and then and it's nice guys look at this thing is nice so now i'm just gonna show you um a time lapse of me praying in because we kind of praying about some pairs now, things, pays now, you know, things now, things. And then, yeah, maybe if I have some more tips. Oh, yeah, this thing of writing, like writing down things also helps. And then the third tip is that also prayer journaling. It's just basically like praying, but then writing it down. So if you like don't really know how to express the words with your mouth then write it down write it down and then pray about it often then the holy spirit can take over you know so i also forgot to mention that prayer journaling can be something to help you keep up with your prayers if you're praying about a certain thing but you, you're losing motivation or it can be something that you can use to um reflect on what god has got you from what he has saved you from and so on and so on oh yeah that's the third tip and then yeah and i'm just gonna show you guys a time lapse of me praying in the starting
wow i've been praying for three minutes wow no that is good eh no that is quite good for just an introduction quite good all right guys so i just finished praying and then now i'm going to read my bible because as much as i love you guys we need the quiet time with a father and what time is it and like it is 24 minutes past 12 in the morning so i'm sure my brother thinks i'm talking alone if he hears sounds that's my brother the other side of the passage so yeah now i'm going to read the word and then if i have any revelation because it's not that it's gonna come every day every day but the day that it does the day that it does come rejoice the day that it doesn't come rejoice it means you weren't listening <laughs> but yeah if if i have revelation or a message that i want to share i'll come back and show you guys so guys wait before i go now i just want to show you something quickly so this is um what is this this is uh you see everything with the ring light on you see me you see me you see me let me turn it off Like it changes so much. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. Anyway, hey guys, let me go read the Bible. Okay, guys, I just finished and I've already prayed it out. And today I didn't get the revelation. So maybe next time, maybe next time, maybe next time. But I shall not be this hot and just because. I didn't get the revelation but you know at least I still got the chance to read my Bible you know so that's good anyway I'm gonna close out this video here and I pray that you enjoyed this video and it has helped you with something hey guys now I need to stop with this thing of first of all I need to stop when I'm doing my outro, I speak about something else and then do it again and then speak about something. I need to stop there, number one. That's the first thing I need to stop. And then the second thing I need to stop is to stop, stop sleeping tomorrow. Because it was so bad to the point here, this other, when was it? Somewhere lost, like, when was it? I don't remember, but somewhere last week, I um, slept at 3 or 4 in the morning and then woke up at like 11 and then got out of my room at 12. Like I was just like, are you not ashamed of yourself? That is so embarrassing. Like that is embarrassing. I need to stop sleeping tomorrow. Like latest is 1 a.m., you know. So it's almost time for me to go into slumber. So I pray that you enjoyed this video and it has helped you and you can use some of these things and apply them to your Bible study. And you know, it's just a whole vibe. We can get deeper into the word. And also please comment down below and suggest other other methods that I can use or other things that I can put in or you know the vibes the vibes the vibes so yeah thank you guys for tuning in see you in the next video